Shoot on sight. My gun's busted. <laughs> oh well. Take this shit out of my sight. Why am I taking your junker pistol, Dave? Welcome back to Snatcher, and this time an on note to teacher. Burger, burger, burger. Back to Snatch. Oh, he's still out. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the scoop. Junkers Basically, uh, Dave, we forgot that Dave owns a trench coat, and it would have been great for this whole let's play, but we still have a half game left, so Dave's gonna fucking. I'll wear this whenever. No, you have to open and show your really terrible tie. <laughs> Dude, this, what, what's wrong with this tie? It's fine. Dave is not accessorized. Oh, yeah, you, you are a model fashion guy. Yeah, I'm so what sure. You do, dude. Black overcoat, black shirt, black tie. The pinnacle of style. No, no, it's not. You don't wear black tie. No, with a black it's shirt. fucking incredible. You should see it, dude. It's incredible. Use red or white. No, 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 no. no. You want contrast. It all should be black. You're like a fucking boss. Yeah, it's sure does. Okay. Yeah. Wow. If you, if you want to look like a like, like a regular old office worker, yeah, then you can wear what Dave suggested. If you want to look like an actual cool, sophisticated person, all black all the time. Pretty sure that that one really badass suit we're looking at, uh, like the one guy was wearing in that episode of uh, Next Generation, the guy was wearing a uh, a Borg body armor. No, he was wearing like a it was like a. a it was like a cream colored suit, a black shirt, and a, and a white tie. It was a con that kind of contrast. You're just, you're just a bad person. You're just a bad person because you, you just don't know how to dress yourself. Uh, like, this is the guy that's wearing, like, the world's shittiest track pants. And, and Superman. And, like, a 50-year-old Superman shirt. 50? <laughs> it looks like it's been through about two world wars. This, this, this is about two or three years old now. Okay, anyway, remember the story, Dave? Uh, we discovered that one of two people in Junker HQ is a snatcher. In other words, Benson Cunningham, the chief, or our friendly engineer, Harry Benson. <gasps> oh, shit. All right, well. Where shall we go, Dave? Chief's office. Is the chief or the engineer? Oh, chief's office is closer. This is the chief's office. He's not in at the moment. So whether the chief or Harry is a snatcher. Let's look for evidence. We have to proceed with the investigation with the utmost care at this point. Let's start with the search with this room here. Mario. It's the chief's chair and the chief's not in. <laughs> the monitor is switched off. That's unusual. It's the first time I've ever seen it shut off. I'm not really sure, but it appears to be just a picture of a flower vase. It'll be a safe button there. Safe bet. <laughs> the chair service temperature is quite low. It looks like the chief's been out for a while. That would seem to be the what? <laughs> the case. Most of the monitors are quite cold. This has always bothered me. Don't you think? Don't you think this picture seems a little out of place with the atmosphere of this room? Yeah, that always bugged me too. So Dave gelled his hair for the occasion, and you can't see it because he's so short. Also, he's also losing his hair, and he's very sensitive about that, so don't, don't be fun of him, don't be fun of him. Be fun of you. <laughs> I don't see, I'm not sensitive about losing my hair, though. I'm cool with it. Yeah, you just don't have any sensitive aspects of your personality, though. Okay, what the hell? Can't find anything here? No, it's weird. Like, present your fucking badge. <laughs> present my badge. Yeah, yeah your lawyer's badge. Lawyer's badge. <laughs> lawyer badge. Mm. I, I, a junker ID, be like, hey, hey, hey chief. Well, then go to the engineer's office. It's so weird, though. I mean, you should be able to look at that stuff. Where would you like to go, Dave? Engineering. You see O'Brien down there. Oh! This is engineering. Harry's not in. So both of them are out. All right. Let's try this last room. Post from a famous pop star from the previous century. 
It's a picture from Harry's childhood. I'm um, pretty sure that's supposed to be his wife and kid, but all right. Who's wife and kid, Harry's? Yeah. There's something on, oh, is that why he's so drunk all the time? He lost his wife and kid? I think so. There's a box of matches and a memo. It's a box of the matches that Outer Haven gives away. Or Outer what? Heaven. Outer Heaven matches? Harry had Outer Heaven matches? Outer Heaven's logo is to in the box. Harry is the only one headquarters smokes. Oh, snap. I can't believe that Harry might be a snatcher. He's a smoker, though. But he had matches for Outer Heaven. No, I can't believe that Harry could be a snatcher. Let's hang on to these matches. Why is Metal Gear like the, the non-rational one? He's a robot. <laughs> uh -huh. That will not be necessary. They are identical to the ones we already have. I'm constantly recording everything that happens. It will be a burden on the investigation. Let's put them here. Okay, I want to look at the memo then. It says face to face. Face to face? Oh. Well, that's something interesting. It's in Harry's writing. I wonder if it's some kind of message. This face to face thing has got to be the key. We have to search in areas that this brings to mind. It probably means either search, face to taste, or watch out for face to face, face off. Or meet face to face. Or it means to watch the movie face off. It's a good movie. No, no, it's not. Jesus. It was a good movie. It doesn't age well. Hang on, it's memo for me, Mel. If that tie is of any concern, either of you. <laughs> really? Really? You look like you look like a welfare recipient. This is going to be the joke of the episode is Dave's tie. The title of the episode, Dave's Tie. <laughs> it's honestly not a bad tie. All right, I'll store Dave's tie away to prevent him from being further embarrassed. Okay, if I had a tie that had, like, a bunch of sunflowers on it, or My Little Pony, or... I wish I could My Little Pony butt plugs last night. Why? I don't know. Is he's... These, these bunch of geek girls are also like, oh, so yeah, I was looking, I was, I was looking at these, uh, something about this article and it had butt plugs and there's this girl standing with a My Little Pony butt plug and she just had like, the biggest smile on her face. I'm like, that is just weird. Harry's out right now. He seemed to be going after the chief when he left. So he had to check on something. He's been a little restless lately. He seemed to be investigating something. Oh. The chief is out right now. I don't know when he'll be back, Dave. <laughs> chief's been really busy lately. He'll he be attending the Kyoto Summit next month. He's had a lot of meetings. They're trying to reduce air pollution. <laughs> the Kyoto Summit? What's that? It's the annual summit to reduce air pollution. <laughs> Mika, what do you think? You, Harry the Chief, I really love and trust all of you. You love me. I have sex with all three of you every day. Except <laughs> for you, Gillian. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they do now. So, uh, Harry Benson and Benson... Oh. Uh, maybe I can just put Benson it. Cunningham. Ah. That's his last name, Cunningham. Like Richie Cunningham from Happy Days? No, like Cunnilingus, like what he's doing to your wife. I have a wife? Oh, in the game. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I am Jordan. This is you. I am Jordan. Oh, I am Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Benson Cunningham. Chief. Junker agency. Age 46. Height 180 centimeters. Weight 75 kegs. Play type B. Plus. Leads. Leads special anti snatcher force. Foxhound for the. Foxhound! Junker Chief. Also served as instructor in Foxham Special Force in the 20s. Participant in 2033 Wellington Olympics in Judo. Wellington? Where's Wellington? Oh, New Zealand, right? Yeah. New Zealand hosted Olympics in 2033? Yes. Wait, that's not even an even number! You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Just drunk as fuck. <laughs> no matching names. Just Harry, then. Uh, what? Okay. Okay, uh, Harry Benson. Engineer, Junker Agency, age 55, height 
168 comes. Weight 65 kegels. Blood type O O dash. Mauritial status. <laughs> what the? <laughs> they spelled it wrong. <laughs> Wait, single. He, he's not widowed. No, he's divorced. No, he's not. Isn't he? He's single. Well, even like, if he, not not divorced. But if he's widowed, if he's widowed, it means he's still technically single. But it would still say it would probably say widowed though. Maybe not. Or, or it would say divorced. Might not. Probably though, I think. Originally member of the government science team, to combat snatchers before its combination with police team to form Junker Agency. Parents die in the catastrophe. Harry taken to Guzman in custody. Earns P. Fid from Michigan State University, age 14. Wait, he earns PhD at age 14? Gains widespread attention for his development of weapons during World War III. Joins NASA following war. Due to the Ramjet engine development team. Three Nobel Prizes, one Fields Prize. He's pretty accomplished. Holy shit. So you got the guy that got a gold medal for judo and the guy that developed weapons for World War III mm -hmm. and then joined NASA. <laughs> just gotta move, just keep looking around. Well, Outer Heaven. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 he wants us to search headquarters while, while Middle Gear just said you search headquarters while they're out. Right. Nonetheless, <laughs> sure, Mika, give you the next 80 years, you fucking frigid bitch. Um, next episode. Even a nude body shirt. Next time, nude body search. Really? No, no, no. That's not next time. Next time will be a tiebreaker. <laughs> Bomb the bird, but there's definitely like a path there. Oh yeah. Hello. But there's no bombs out there, is there? No. You have to use the the beetle from where you currently are. Or the bombs in your fucking purse. Oh yeah, that's true. There are those. <laughs> It's a it's a satchel, okay? Okay. It's a satchel. It's a, okay, it, cutie. It's a European satchel. Okay, it's a European cutie. office bag. It's a purse. <laughs>